Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna, a first year medic, and in this video I'm going to be talking about Notion. I'm going to talk about how I use it for high school, how I'm using it now for university, and how I just use it overall for life planning. So without any further ado, let's get started. <music> is a note-taking organization platform that you can use either as an app or a website and it's really helpful in just managing all your notes all your studies just all about all your life i think one of the best features that i love about it is the fact that you can put pages within pages so you just end up having this really organized nice looking page that you can manage your life or your notes with so i'm going to look at three sections the first one is going to be my high school page so my like a level notes how i manage them the second one is going to be my university page so how i manage like all the lectures how i put them in an organized manner the third one is going to be just life so how i manage my life overall using notion so with my school studies page i had my notion page um sectioned into all my subjects so i had three subjects biology chemistry and math and then some other pages that i'm going to look at right now so let's just look at how we can make this so if i create a new page and then we have untitled so let's name this page and um, school studies and then in this blank page that we have we can then add like smaller pages that we can add inside so i'm going to start with adding a page and we're going to call it biology and then we're going to add another page and we're going to call it chemistry. So let's stick to those two for now. Um, you can also like put them beside each other. I like putting them beside each other like this so that they look more like organized and basically just they look nice. I also always like to add a calendar if I'm doing anything that's like school related. So if we just add calendar view and then we add new database, it just adds a calendar and then you can label it like school year. So if I have any assignments or deadlines, then I can just add them in the calendar by pressing this button and then saying, for example, um, mock exam one. This way I can kind of manage um, my deadlines. You can also write in it whatever you want. So usually sometimes I would write like reviews. So this mock exam was quite good. Blah, 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 just like that. So it's quite nice overall having this calendar view. Um, but we still have our biology and chemistry. So let's look at exactly what I do in each subject. So in biology, I would then add a table view and let's say anyone. So this is our table, we just call it biology. And then as you can see, we have some, so we have a name. Okay, so we have a name row and we have a tag row and we can also add other tags. Uh, so what I usually like to go so with the tags it's really nice because then you can add things like you can create a tag and say okay I'm going to create a tag saying year one so this is all the year one content and then I'm going to create a tag saying year two this is all the year two content so you can have a tag like this and then you can for example make another tag so we'll do a select this is called a select um, and this one we're going to go with good or we can add bad or we can add 50-50. So now we have three tags that we can choose from, which is good, bad, or 50-50 to see how well we know the topic or how good we know it. And then we can write whatever topic. So let's say like cell biology. Then I have this column of my topic, which I can open that I can write all my notes in. And then I also have beside it the tag. So it's either year one or year two. So let's say it's year one. So we're going to remove the year one tag. And then we're going to say that actually cell biology, I'm really good at it. Let me put it as good. You can also change the color of the tag. So you can say good as green or whatever. Usually I also have like a um, checkbox. Let's just search checkbox. And then with the checkbox, I would say Anki. So have I done the flashcards for it? And then I can like tick off the checkbox. So if you look back at what I did with my school studies for biology, I had this. So I had the topics and then I had the year. And then I had my knowledge of it, which is what we, we saw before. And then I had a checkbox for, as in, did I do it once or did I do it twice? So have I gone through it already? And then I had priority, priority one, priority two, which is related to just um, our examination like style. So that doesn't really matter now. So that's how I did it. One thing that I really like about this, however, is that you can also um, manage it. So if you see up here, I have table, but I also have year one and year two, and then I have two more. So the way that you do this is you basically press on, it should be a button beside table. And if I press on year one or year two, you then have, um, if I press on two more, you'll then have the view. So I have table year one, year two, priority and knowledge. And if you add a view, it's basically 
you make the same table but then you manage it the way that you want so for example i will say that i want to sort the table or filter the table so that we only have the knowledge from year one and that's really helpful if you want to just organize see okay now i'm going to focus on year one content only let's see what content i have for year one so this is why i did i have table and then i have year one then i have year two um, and i also had priority so just ranking them by priority and then i had knowledge so stuff that's good and then stuff that's 50 50 and then stuff that's not good and then i also ranked them this is the extra one that we did so this is what i did for biology i also did the same thing for chemistry but for chemistry i didn't do notes now just looking at notes quickly for biology as you can see each topic if you press on it you then have the notes I'm going to link down um, in the description box a template for this and um, if I manage to figure out how to do the template if not I'll just link I'll just put the link for this page over all so you can edit it and this I think will be really helpful now what I also did as you can see here it's biology chemistry maths but I also have things like notes from tests so this is just some stuff that I did extra so you can always customize your school studies and make it by how you want to study or the way that you like it um, I also had this extra bit that was like studying music, so I just added a playlist. I never really used it, but I felt like it looked cool. Um, for the pages, obviously you can like customize them, so you have the title, but you can also press an emoji and change it, and then you can also change the cover. So yeah, that's how I did my high school page. Let's look now at my university page. Now this is um, a bit experimental, but I've already had a term and I feel like this has helped me so much in managing everything, so I think it's working really well so far. Look at my university page, we just have university, the emoji, and then the picture at the back, try to make it aesthetic. We have my university logo, and then some basic info. So this is just basic info about examinations, um, our PBLs, which is our like group projects, and our SOCs. And then we had our modules. So I separated the modules. I felt like that made it more organized for me. So if you look at the body respiratory, because that one is much less, it has three weeks only. So I did my lectures by week. Now I'm going to show you how to make a table like this as well. So this is what the table looks like. I have the weeks done by it. So in each week you have all the lectures in it and then all the notes of the lectures. And let's look at how to do this. So let's open a new page. Let's say, for example, we're going to add under this, um, I don't know, let's write just medicine. We're going to start with, again, as we did before, we're going to start with the table view. The table view is very versatile and what I'm showing you right now is just the basics and what I figured out. But as you start using just more, you realize that you can do so much more with it as well. With the table view, let's say, okay, just lectures. And here I would write the name of every single lecture and then the date that it came in. So you, we haven't looked at this before, but you can also add a date function. And as you can see now, I can write the date. So if I say, for example, medicine one, and then medicine two, and then medicine three. And then we're gonna add the dates. So we're gonna say, this one is today, this one is tomorrow, and actually the next one is next week. And then we can group them so this is a bit different from filtering so the way the group is just you press these three buttons and then you press group and then we go by date and then i would group by week so this way we have it by weeks um this one is empty and then we have week of december 25th to 31st and then the week afterwards and you can see the lectures are there organized you can then close them so it's not too cluttery so that's the way that you do it and if you can see here that's how i did it for my film med um, if you close them, you can see all the lectures in the week. You then obviously, like we did before, I added some extra tags. So I added a notes, so checkbox if I did the notes, and I added Anki or Quizlet, checkbox if I did it, review, and then type, which I haven't used yet, but I would use sometime soon. And that's how you did it. So I did this for every module. So I finished from mid, now I'm in CR, and that's how I did it as well. And then for the other modules i also have extra pages for stuff like deadlines so i have a calendar view as i mentioned before and then we have all my deadlines in it and then i have others for like anatomy so i decided to put anatomy separately and then i have anatomy on its own and each page for every topic of anatomy and that's basically how i did my university page now just moving on to notes really quickly something that you can do it with that notion that's really useful is if you're someone who uses Anki you can export notion notes directly to Anki and I'm going to show you how I do this so I'm going to go to the first lecture that I did in 
or actually let's go to this lecture and as you can see my notes are all in the shape of just toggles so the way that we do these toggles is you just make this icon and then you press or if you want to do it like in a longer way you can go here and then you can go toggle this and then you would write the title and then you would go here and then write the notes inside so that's the way that you do the toggle list now what you can do with this toggle list after you've written all your notes you can then export it so we're going to export as a html we're going to press export and then it will export it and what you can then do is convert the html to um, an Anki file and then you can add it directly and import it to Anki. This has been so useful because I like having all my notes in a way that in a version that I can see all of them at one time but I also have them as Anki and if I did both at separate times so I wrote all my notes out and then I did the Anki it would take too long and it would be just too much time taken on one lecture. So the way that I do it this way it just saves a lot of time and it's still like two in one kind of. So we're just gonna save to files. And then if you go to toanki.net then press get started and then html to um, zip upload and then you press your html file that you've just downloaded you add it and then you download and you have an apkg file which then you can import directly to Anki so if I just press open in Anki it will open it in Anki and then I have my human genome and chromosome there we go so that's how I do my notes on, on Notion and it's been really helpful now finally let's look at my life page so my life page is a bit more messy and it's just basically a lot of random stuff that I like putting together. So for example, we have recipes, we have Quran, so like religion based stuff. Um, we just have me and we have stuff like that. And I also have work in it. So it's for example, YouTube. So you have YouTube video ideas, stuff to get for YouTube, ideas that people ask for. And then like a video organizer that I then like plan all my videos in it. So it's really helpful for planning stuff. I hope this video has been helpful. I'm going to link down all the templates below. So I'm going to link a template for all the lectures. I'm going to link a template for like um, high school and just a page overall on how to set it up. If you have any more tips or videos that you'd like to see, make sure you comment them down below and see you in the next video. Bye.